Let's hurry it up. Why don't you have a taste of my blood? Pain. You don't have what it takes. This is all mine! Don't mess up my nails. Hurry it up! Why don't you have a taste of my blood? Want me to do it? I knew this wouldn't be easy. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> <laughs>
for the monster in the square. You're really saying Hand is gonna take over the remaining investigation? Absolutely positive. We heard it firsthand, together with the Bellabog Industries people. The monster's remains will still be collected by public security, of course. But the automated evidence carrier will bring the remains to Hand once it passes through the hollow. Yeah, I get it. Hand is better than public security at investigating this kind of weird stuff. They've always had a pretty delicate relationship. That PopSec officer seems decent, though. Being willing to put all that aside and hand over the case. Oh, it's getting late. I can't stay in chat. I have a client meeting scheduled later. Anyway, I'll do my best to help look for rain, so keep an eye out for some good news. Thanks, Nicole. Bye. Hey, Wise. Was that Nicole on the phone just now? Yeah. Nicole figured that we were related to what happened in the square, so she called to ask. I explained everything and told her about the mission to find Rain. By the way, Kaleida also called earlier to say public security confirmed the time to collect the monster's remains. Hopefully, Hand will be quick to figure things out once they get the evidence. Fingers crossed. Anyway, whether it's the investigation or the search for rain, all we can do now is wait for news. Since we don't have a lot on our plate right now, let's drop by the public security office sometime in the next couple of days. Hmm? What are we gonna do over there? I'm surprised you've forgotten. Our driver's licenses are about to expire. It was Fairy who noticed it the other day. Master. I've applied for a driver's license renewal for you and second assistant on the Public Security's official website. But unfortunately, the collection of the new licenses must be done in person. Let's visit their office in Lumina Square soon then, to collect our new driver's licenses. The metro to Lumina Square is always crowded. Let's just drive there. Touch my tail, and uh, now. Did you hey, don't look down on me! You wanna test my- I'll help you then. The lunch is on you. Did you cook? Touch my tail? And uh, now. Mm. Time for some tail care.
Ugh, this is exhausting. I had no idea it'd be so hard to find a parking space here. We should have just taken the metro. Hang in there, Belle. It's just another 300 meters. We haven't gotten much exercise lately, so let's just consider it a workout. You're the one who never exercises. The only time you run is when you're using Eos's body. Speaking of things we haven't done lately, it's been ages since we had a good meal. Since that dinner with the cunning hairs, right? No wonder you were so enthusiastic about going out today. So that's what you were really after. <laughs> we deserve to treat ourselves with all our hard work lately. What do you think? How about we have a meal somewhere nearby when we're done? Seeing as our profit for this month has been picking up, sure. Hooray! You're the best! Let me see what's good around here. Uh, why is the signal so weak? What's wrong, Belle? Oh, look out! Don't tell me it's broken! Are you all right? Are you hurt? Belle! Uh, Belle! Are you okay? Are you injured? Uh, I'm okay. Mm, have we met somewhere before? Hmm? Have we? Sorry. I think we've mistaken you for somebody else. Juyuan, Qingyi, thank you so much for your help this afternoon. If it weren't for you acting so fast, I'd probably be lying in the hospital right now. <sighs> Don't mention it. Keeping citizens safe is our duty as public security officers, and we're thankful for your cooperation. All that paperwork took some time. Have you determined the cause of the accident? We can't say for sure right now. The driver is fine physically, but he doesn't remember anything leading up to the accident. But don't worry, every problem has a solution. We'll find a way to get to the bottom of this. It's getting late. Why don't you two head home? Feel free to contact us if you recall any further details about the accident. Thanks again for your help, you two. If you pass by 6th Street in the future, be sure to visit our video store. I'll give you a free membership card. So you live on 6th Street. I expect we'll run into each other soon. Oh? What do you mean? Hold on, Ching Yi. Being vague could give the wrong impression. Here, take a look at this. It should better explain what she's talking about. Public Security Safety Awareness Month questionnaire? Our inspector has temporarily assigned us to the Lumina branch to prepare for this event. We'll be holding a big safety lecture here soon for the citizens. The two of us will be visiting nearby neighborhoods and distributing the questionnaires to encourage them to attend. I see. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Please, keep the questionnaire. If you're interested in the seminar, you can fill in your info and give it to us when we visit 6th Street. See you again soon, managers. So, public security officers will be visiting 6th Street soon. That's never happened in all the time we've lived there. By the way, there's something else I want to discuss with you, Wise. It's about Ji Yuan and Ching Yi. What a coincidence. I want to discuss that too. But we shouldn't talk here. Their office is still nearby. Mm-hmm. Let's head home first.
We can finally get back to our earlier discussion. About Ji Yuan and Qing Yi. I knew you'd notice too. It's not our first time meeting them. After Bellabog called Pubsec in the hollow, weren't they the officers who investigated? You were disguised as Eos at the time, so they weren't aware there was anyone apart from Bellabog Industries present. Thinking back, a lot was going on when they came to investigate. Honestly, the shock of finding that monster in the monument was so overwhelming. Everything else is a little fuzzy. We might bump into them again soon, so we should check the visual record of the investigation, just to be safe. Very. Could you extract the data from back then? Yes, Master. I found the footage you require. Thanks for your cooperation. We have a rough idea of how things unfolded. Earlier today, you all ended up deep in the hollow after the bangboo with your carrot malfunctioned. Then you were attacked by an unknown monster right here. Is this the faulty bangboo? Yes, but uh, some of its parts might have been corrupted. We'll hand over a detailed repair report later. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but something feels different about this thing, Bill. It looks unusually clever, almost cunning. Uh, okay, wait a sec, Jingyi. Saying things like that in front of the person filing the report might get us reported. Uh, let's put aside how they ended up in the hollow for now. Seems like Bellabog Industries has come across something quite extraordinary. Absolutely. I don't remember seeing anything with such unique traits in the records. Let me take a closer look at it. Hmm? Looks like there's something inside the crystal. Hmm. Oh, don't touch that! All non-forensic officers are prohibited from handling evidence without proper authorization. Besides, it's too risky. Even if you've undergone corruption resistance treatments. Inspector, the crime scene is just up ahead. Is that ferocious, Ma? I mean, the dangerous criminal. Uh, Inspector Bringer, what are you doing here? Oh, you two are in charge of the scene. And here come two elites of our criminal investigation department. <laughs> Bring the suspect over. <clears throat> Get my good side when you take the picture. I need it for the headlines tomorrow. Inspector, the suspect isn't here. They were attacked by an unknown being with high ether activity. Huh? So it was just an ethereal? No, Inspector. It had some peculiar characteristics. We suspect it to be the result of hollow mutation or the product of some type of illegal activity. Hold, hold on. You see now, Ju Yuan. It's good to be vigilant as a public security officer, but the election is just around the corner. If we reveal the presence of an unknown monster in the hollows at this stage, my election, uh, I mean, the citizens will be put in fear. Public security shouldn't make any hasty announcements. We must investigate the matter thoroughly first. Rest assured, we've requested the collected evidence be given to hand for expert analysis. We're confident we'll soon be able to... What? It's being given to hand? <clears throat> I mean, you did the right thing. Still, let our forensics team handle the evidence collection. Hmm? You two have always been my trusted aides. So I have a very important task for you. It's clearly a very unique etheractive being. Yet Inspector Bringer wasn't interested in the slightest. At least he didn't say no to giving over the evidence to hand. Oh, now I get it. The important task Inspector Bringer mentioned is the seminar at the Lumina Branch. What's so special about this seminar that he has to send Ju Yuan and Ching Yi to manage it? Fairy, are you able to bring up any info related to the seminar? I'm running a search on keywords Lumina Square and Public Security Safety Awareness Month. There are several relevant articles by multiple media companies. I shall read them. 
Given the recent surge in major incidents within the city this month, and aiming to safeguard urban security while enhancing public awareness, Janus District Public Security has decided to launch the Public Security Safety Awareness Month across the entire district. To provide citizens with practical information, Public Security has assigned several officers from the Criminal Investigation Department to assist in planning the event. Mr. Bringer, Commanding Officer of the District Headquarters and the driving force behind the event will also be in attendance at the seminar, which is to take place at the Lumina Branch. Along with the other officers in charge, Inspector Bringer will conduct a media interview during the event to address any concerns citizens may have. So, it's not just Inspector Bringer attending the seminar, but a bunch of media representatives as well. You hear that, Wise? Ju Yuan and Qing Yi will participate in the interview too. Must be quite the honor for a public security officer, right? What do you think about the seminar? We don't have anything going on right now, and they did help us twice. So we really should go show our support. Okay, it's decided then. We'll tell Ju Yuan and Qing Yi we'd like to attend the event when they come to 6th Street in a few days. Criminal cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janus Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top-shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. <laughs> so, to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies, so I'd love to join you. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that day. I can't miss such an important family event. Oh, I understand. In that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. Good morning, Ju Yuan, Jing Yi. Good morning, Wise, Bell. Here are questionnaires. We've decided to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. Ching Yi! That's blunt. So what? 
It's the truth. Besides, it's not like they're strangers, right? Yeah, right. But how come nobody on 6th Street wants to go to the seminar? Everyone here is usually pretty welcoming. Is there anything we can do to help? Now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Oh, let me see. Asha, General Chop... Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. How about we help you take the questionnaires to them? That's a good idea. Sixth Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security. So if they see officers handing stuff out all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings them the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. We wouldn't want to trouble you. You two already did us a huge favor. It's only right we return the gesture. Zhu Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay. Thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then.
Hello, Wise. Bell? Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from Public Security hand out questionnaires? General Chop, would you mind taking a look at this questionnaire? I'll pass. I figure it's about that seminar in Luminous Square. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. <sighs> I knew it. I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. And after I told Ju Yuan and Ching Yi we could help. Oh, have other people said no too? Yeah. Asha, Spike. Oh, and I think Tin Master and Enzo said no this morning too. Is there something going on? It's no big secret. It's just some of us older residents on 6th Street know some things you're not aware of. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? Isn't that Inspector Bringer? I heard he came up with the event. Then have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? So you're saying Inspector Bringer was the Hollow Hero? That's right. Before the fall of the old capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents, so they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ in Janice Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. That's a pretty inspiring story. It used to be, but these days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but we older residents can see through it. He's just putting on an act in front of the cameras. What's more, in recent years, he's clearly been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the public, but it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. He's aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election. Launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear, don't you think? Sounds like Inspector Bringer is trying to advertise himself through the seminar. Hmm. Exactly. Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Thanks for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time we go back and tell Ju Yuan and Ching Yi the news. gone up and down 6th Street, but we haven't even gotten 10 people to register for the seminar. We've done our best. Let's get a drink and take a break. Hey, easy for you to say, but the conference hall we're in can fit 300 people, you know? As things stand, it'll be more than half empty. Inspector Bringer must have chosen this area because there's a lot of residents nearby, thinking it'd be easier to find people to participate. Shame many of them are from his previous precinct. A lot of them have complaints about him. <sighs> I was just wondering why you're in such low spirits today, when I've never seen you discouraged by difficult tasks before. But then I remembered. The inspector saved your life once. Not being able to accomplish what we'd hoped, on top of seeing him come under fire. It must make you feel even worse. Mm-hmm. If Ringer hadn't rescued me in that hollow back then, I wouldn't even be here, let alone be a public security officer. I understand he's no longer the hero he used to be, but can someone who gave up his anti-corruption gear to a child be such a bad guy? Sure, he's had some dealings with Tops, but it's inevitable, especially when many of our devices are jointly developed with Tops. And, and besides, doesn't he always say he lacks sufficient authority to make changes, hmm? 
if he gets elected, maybe he might be able to turn public opinion around. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. What? It means when someone flatters undeserving people, it's considered an act of sycophancy. If one should stand up for what is right but remains indifferent, it shows that person is a coward. As public security officers, we need to be clear about what we should and shouldn't do. There may be many different ways to interpret Inspector Bringer's actions, but only he knows whether he has a clear conscience. If his deeds were pure, even if he's misunderstood for the time being, things will work out in the end. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, someone's coming. Sorry, are we interrupting you two? Oh, we were just chatting. Did you go talk to the residents? We gave them the questionnaire, but they all happened to be busy on that day. Sorry for not being very helpful. Oh, it's okay. We're just grateful you tried it all. We're almost done with distributing the questionnaires here, too. Then, Chingy and I will be heading back to the office. Wait a minute! Officers! Uh, oh. oh, good. You didn't go. Oh. General Chop, did you run all the way here? Why? It's hard to explain, but just now, there was a crime committed over there, and it's at a stalemate. Please, officers, you have to go take a look. A crime? Let's go check out the scene. Great. Please, follow me. Wise, let's go see what's going on. If you say there's officers nearby, then let them come and weigh in. I mean, what possible argument could there be? They were caught in the act. Sir, caught in the act doesn't seem fair. It's similar to seeing only foam on a cup of barley latte and declaring it isn't coffee. Calm down now, gentlemen. We're public security officers. What's going on here? Officers, you're finally here. It's like this. I'm Gail. I'm a driver for Pegasus Logistics. I was making a delivery in the neighborhood. I'd finished the delivery and was calling the next client when I heard a suspicious thud from the back of my truck. Startled by the noise, I quickly rushed over, only to find all my ducks flying and running out of the cargo compartment. A flustered Bangboo was caught at the scene of the crime. This is that very Bangboo. Look, Wise. Isn't that Bangboo give change from the 141 convenience store? Officers, I saw the whole thing. There was no one around when it happened except this Bangboo. I'm sure it opened my cargo compartment. Those ducks inside are a new specially bred variety. They're worth a fortune. Losing just one or two of them will cost me more than a month's salary. I've taken your statement, sir. Bangboo, do you have anything to add? <laughs> Hey, what do you mean the door was open? I know you opened the door and let all the ducks out! Sir, if I might say, I think you're being too harsh on Give Change. Officers, as Give Change's neighbor, I must say something on their behalf. I know them well. And I'm sure they wouldn't do anything like this. Then tell me, why was my cargo compartment open despite being locked? Officers, there's been tons of Bangboo committed crimes in the city lately. You gotta help me find evidence linking this Bangboo to the crime, so we can hold it accountable for my losses. This isn't just about Give Change's reputation, officers. They could lose their job. 
You simply must uncover the truth and prove Give Change's innocence. The only time I've seen Tin Master this agitated is when I asked for instant coffee. I can't believe there's been a crime on 6th Street, and that Give Change has gotten mixed up in it. Wise. Give Change was already working at 141 when we first moved here. I just don't believe it'd do something like this. But Give Change was the only one there when the driver realized what had happened. So it's hard to explain. Hmm? Look, people are leaving. Have Ji Yuan and Ching Yi resolved the incident? Let's go see what's going on. Hi, Belle. Hi, Wise. We overheard what happened earlier. Does the crowd leaving mean everything has been resolved? Not yet, unfortunately. We discussed the situation and managed to calm everyone down. Might I ask what the situation is now? We took a look around the truck, and we didn't find anything suspicious, other than the traces left by the escaped ducks. There are no security cameras in the area, so all that's left to be checked is the Bang Boo's visual record and the truck's anti-theft system. And to review both of those, professional technicians are needed, so we don't have an immediate conclusion. Will that take a long time? I'm afraid so. It'll take about two or three days. Both the driver and Give Change will have their daily routine disrupted somewhat during this time. After we explained the situation, the driver said his main concern is the whereabouts of the cargo. As long as he can deliver the shipment on time today, he's willing to reconcile. So, Tin Master and some other residents of 6th Street went to look for the ducks. In that case, Wise, let's hurry up and go help too. We'll accompany you as well. Oh? I thought you were going back to the precinct. The driver may have proposed a solution, but there's a likelihood of further conflict until all the ducks are recovered, so we can't just walk away. Junior officers would usually be responsible for these types of cases, but handing the task over would take time, and we don't want residents to think public security is evading our responsibility to the public. And there's something suspicious about this incident, so Ching Yi and I decided to look for other clues while searching for the ducks. G-U-N, Ching Yi. Thank you. Then let's get going. We're pretty good at finding things, right, bro?
Ugh, really, Wise? You totally forgot to turn off the lights last time you drove the car. Sorry, I guess I don't remember. Huh? What's going on? I can't turn off the lights. Is something wrong with the switch? I don't know, but nothing happens when I press it. The battery's gonna die at this rate. I'd better manually disconnect the lights for now. How weird. The car got serviced not that long ago. I just figure something would go wrong all of a sudden. Hey, is it just my imagination, or does this situation seem familiar? Hmm? What's wrong, Chingy? Something on your mind? All the incidents we've encountered today are somehow related to vehicles. Now that you mention it, you're right. The van in the convenience store wouldn't start, the car that just pulled out of the remodeling shop broke down, and now Weisenbell's car lights won't turn off. If we count the missing ducks from Pegasus Logistics, that's already four vehicles involved. If we count the car accident the other afternoon, that's five in total. That one wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been distracted while walking, Belle. But that wasn't totally my fault, Wise. My cell phone suddenly malfunctioned, and it distracted me. Hmm? Huh? Belle's cell phone malfunctioned before the car accident at Lumina Square? What kind of malfunction? She said her phone suddenly lost signal, and a bunch of colorful stripes appeared on the screen. But it went back to normal soon after. I knew it. Remember, Chingy? The driver said he was on the phone at the time of the car accident. If I'm right, something else must have been going on back then. Right. That's probably why Give Change said it felt dizzy, too. How did the interrogation go? I think we finally figured out what's really behind all the recent incidents. For now, let's get the ducks back and see if we can confirm a few things along the way. Meet us near the truck later, and I'll explain everything. Yuan and Ching Yi told us to wait for them here. Did they come by? No. No. No, no, no. No. Oh, yeah. Here's all that happened. They just came and measured the Bangboo's electrical current data logs, asked a weird question, then left in a hurry. Could you tell us what they asked? They asked me if my cell phone had malfunctioned in any way, since I'd been on the phone during the incident. My phone actually did turn itself off out of nowhere, but how did they know that? Wait, your cell phone malfunctioned too? Uh, something just occurred to me. All the accidents lately. Could they be caused by EMP? You're quite right, Belle. Do you end, Tingy, you're back. Have you ever heard of an EMP emitter, sir? I can't say I have. What's that? When activated, it causes a sudden change of current in nearby electronic equipment, resulting in component failures or, at worst, completely burning out the equipment. Using EMP, someone could open the electronic lock on your van without even touching it, easily. At the moment your door was opened, not only did your phone malfunction, but Give Change experienced a sudden surge of current, all indicative of an EMP attack. So you mean... This Bang Boo is a victim, just like me? And someone else is at fault? Yes, we believe that to be the case. I shouldn't have been so hot-headed. What I said before... <laughs> Give change, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You have my sincerest apology. <laughs> so, who is the culprit, officers? Have you caught them? Don't worry. Our colleagues are checking the surveillance records. We should be able to identify the culprit real soon. 
They launched multiple EMP attacks today. So if we check all the passersby near the crime scenes, we can narrow down our search. Officer Zhu Yuan, we've investigated the surveillance records and have a suspect. We're currently tracking him near the street exit. Should we detain him for questioning? Immediately. Well done. Understood. Ah, officer, the suspect has fled. He's heading toward your location. Ching Yi, come on, we'll stop him. Yuen, the suspect has fled into the hollow. We're pursuing him inside. Copy that. <sighs> I'd have thrown it harder if I had known he was so tough. How are things going? The culprit ran into the hollow, and we're going after him. You two can head back now. Let's follow them and see what happens, Wise. Yuen and Qingyi have gone into the hollow, Wise. While I'm sure they can handle the situation, we should go into the hollow and see if we can help. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with it. Are you mad at him because he almost caused me to have an accident? Even if he hadn't caused that accident, he needs to be held accountable for all the trouble on 6th Street. We can go whenever you're ready. By the way, even though you're angry, remember to keep your distance from Ju Yuan and Ching Yi in the hollow. They are still officers, after all. Touch my tail? And uh, no. Did you call me? You ain't seen nothing yet. It won't last forever. If we act fast, we can catch the suspect before he gets away. Yeah, let's keep going. Master, order received. Assisting security officers Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi in pursuing the fugitives. Multiple biosignatures detected ahead, presumably the targets requiring assistance. Please utilize your size advantage to approach quietly and provide assistance when needed. Surrender now! Give it up! Wise, listen! They're down there! Give up! Eat this! Ugh, it's an EMP. 
Jingy, are you all... Hold on. The Ethereals are coming our way. Were they attracted by the EMP? Let's fend them off first. Wise, let's take a closer look. Be careful. The Ethereals are up ahead. Don't worry. I have a full set of ammo with me today. No wonder you are a top student. You're always prepared. Is this what you meant when you said, expect the unexpected? those ethereals i didn't expect the emp emitter to affect ethereals so much they just keep showing up if we let him get away he might continue causing trouble yeah and having one means he's likely connected to some sort of gang we have to find him and get to the bottom of this let's check around for anything that could indicate where he's gone no need he went right huh how'd you figure that out so fast traces in the snow marks in the sand Observe the subtle to catch the culprit from afar. It's a skill passed down over generations. Wanna learn how to do it? Uh, hold on, uh, let me write that down. Uh, slower this time. How did you figure it out? Hmm. Traces in the snow, marks in the sand. Uh, is there a less mysterious way to put it? You make it sound like just a feeling. I guess it is based on a feeling. My right hand feels numb. Ah, uh, I didn't realize the EMP would affect you like that. Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing serious. It's just... Can we rough him up a bit once we catch him? Well, guess we just have to catch him fast then. That EMP transmitter is a real pain in the neck. You and Eos need to be careful. Ju Yuan and Chingi are still chasing the culprit. We should get going. Chingy, there's a way through here! The Bang Boo can't reach the hole in the wall. There might be a way if we can fix this mechanism. I have connected to the damaged circuit. Master, I found the cause of the damage. A short circuit. You can touch the circuit components and move them around to connect the circuit. Try touching a circuit component. The circuit has been fixed. Nice, we've caught up. How did they catch up again? They're not getting through here. It's closed. We'll have to try and break it open. Look, the switch is right there. We might be able to fix it. It's 
Chingy, something flew by just now. Just like last time. The circuit has been fixed. The door's open! You're incredible, Chingy! That's strange. I barely used any force just now. Problem solved! Let's follow them. Don't use the EMP. It'll draw the ethereals here. <laughs> like I care. They're over there. being used here, too. We can do this with our eyes closed already. Let's fix it. The circuit has been fixed. We have to help him!
Suppressor K-22! Maximum firepower! Don't come any closer! All right, calm down. Uh, there's Ethereals! Ethereals, help! Calm down, sir. All the Ethereals around here have already been eliminated. You're safe now. R really? Uh, the Ethereals are... I'm safe? Uh, y you're the pub sec officers from before! What's wrong? Didn't expect us to chase you all the way here? Uh, no. I mean... I'm just surprised, is all. I mean, I've been causing problems for you all, and there were so many ethereals nearby, but... you still took the risk of coming to rescue me. What nonsense. Protecting citizens is our duty as officers. But as they say, what goes around comes around. If it weren't for your misuse of the EMP in town, you wouldn't have found ethereals nearby. Damn. W wait, was that a poem? According to new Eridu laws and regulations, my colleague and I are arresting you for illegal possession of a dangerous weapon and endangering the safety of others. What's your name? Carlo Maroon. Thank you for cooperating, Mr. Maroon. You have the right to remain silent. Once we're out of the hollow, you can contact a lawyer or get assistance from the Attorney's Association. We should make our way back to the precinct, Ching Yi. Uh, hmm? why, why are you looking around? I kept feeling like there was someone else here besides us. But the feeling suddenly vanished. Like who? You think there are other ethereals nearby? Not an ethereal. Something smaller and more agile. Could just be my imagination. I mean, I did suffer several EMP attacks today. So my senses could still be a bit overwhelmed. Let's go. After we drop off Maroon at the precinct, we should go back to 6th Street and tell everyone the good news. I can't thank you two enough for today. You're welcome. It's an officer's duty and privilege. Public security will contact you for any compensation-related matters, should they arise. You're back! So you caught the suspect? Yeah, we just brought him to the precinct and finished our preliminary interrogation. How did the interrogation go? It went well. He confessed to his crimes. He claims his initial intention was to use the EMP emitter to steal vehicles, but a lack of expertise led to various unintended outcomes. Isn't possessing an EMP emitter strictly forbidden in the city? How do you manage to get a hold of something like that? The culprit is a member of a Hollow Raider gang. According to him, they illegally manufactured several EMP emitters to bypass vehicle security systems. Seems like there's more going on than we first thought. We think so too. That's why we'll interrogate him again to uncover what the Hollow Raiders are up to. But I can't disclose more details about the investigation. I hope you understand. Well, that's about it. We'll be heading back to the precinct now for the second interrogation. Hold on for a moment, officers. Oh, General Chop. Was there something you'd like to ask about the case? No, no, you've explained everything clearly. Actually, a few neighbors and I have something we'd like to say. Your help today is greatly appreciated. Not only did you clear give change of any suspicion, but you also prevented the culprit from causing more harm in the future. And I'd like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. After speaking with my neighbors, we've decided to attend the safety lecture on Saturday. Here are the questionnaires we filled out. Uh, really? Well, 
it's aimed at enhancing resident safety awareness after all, so it wouldn't hurt to attend. We heard you were ordered to come here and prepare for the event by Bringer. We can't let outstanding officers like you fail your mission just because we're unhappy with him, can we? Oh, you're too kind. Protecting the safety of the citizens is our duty, but your willingness to attend the lecture helps us a lot too. Can I also have a questionnaire, officers? I want to attend the lecture too. Wonderful. Looks like all's well that ends well. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a win-win situation.
It's good to see you again. You too, managers. Looks like attendance is great. The place is really hopping. Thanks to everyone on 6th Street. They not only signed up for the seminar, they also helped spread the word to other districts. Do you in? I heard you'll be up on stage with the inspector answering questions from citizens. Don't worry, I'll bombard you with tons of questions so you won't feel left out. Uh, uh, come on. Go easy on me. <laughs> you don't know, do you? Zhu Yuan gets super nervous in situations like this. She drank three pots of tea just to avoid nervously coughing up there. Sorry to interrupt, but I have something to report. We've analyzed and located the exact coordinates of the places Maroon previously identified inside the hollow. Please take a look at this. Thanks. I was also just informed that Inspector Bringer is on his way, and the media is waiting to get some pictures. Looks like we should go meet him. We'll investigate these locations in a couple of days. Hmm? Wait, there's something funny about these coordinates. Something funny? What are you seeing? Is something wrong? Sorry, you two, but something is weird about this report. I need to talk to Ju Yuan for a moment, if you'll excuse us. You can go on in. That officer mentioned Maroon. That's the guy who was causing trouble with the EMP emitter, right? Is something going wrong with the case? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's try to get close enough to eavesdrop on their conversation. Those coordinates are the spots Maroon's gang scouted some time ago, right? What do you think is off about them? You remember the monster they found in that square a while back? Of course, the remains are scheduled to be recovered this afternoon. But wait, what about it? You think these two cases are connected? Perhaps. I just realized every location Maroon pointed out lies on the route the evidence carrier is taking. What? The EMP emitter Maroon used had been modified to bypass vehicle security systems. When used correctly, it can unlock car doors without damaging the electronics. Maroon said his crew procured specialized containers for preserving etheric material. We assume they were targeting vehicles transporting valuable ether resources for large companies. But here's the thing. Public security's evidence carrier is the same kind of vehicle. Meaning? The evidence carrier could be in danger. Where is it now? Let me see. Right here. There's a slight delay in the surveillance signal, but the carrier seems headed towards its destination right now. But according to the record, it stopped for about 10 minutes somewhere in the hollow just 15 minutes ago. 10 minutes might not seem like much, but if someone's lying in wait with an EMP emitter, it'd be enough for them to snatch the evidence. We need to report this right now. I'll call it in. Wait a second. The carrier might have paused in the hollow due to changes in hollow structure or some other reason. We don't have solid proof yet of an attack on the carrier. Even if we report our suspicions, they won't immediately send someone. They'd follow protocol and do a remote analysis first. You're right. And if they do that, it could already be too late. Not only that, I'm worried about something else. The evidence recovery schedule was only decided recently, and the route inside the hollow is top secret. But according to Maroon, his gang had been scouting those locations for a while now. Meaning, there might be a mole in public security. Exactly. If we report our suspicions now, we might tip them off. I'd rather head into the hollow myself. That's a huge risk. You know that's against policy. They could take action against us. It's urgent. We don't have time to argue. We spent a long time preparing for today's seminar. With the media gathered like this, it's a rare opportunity for you to showcase your knowledge in front of the inspector. You should stay here. We're partners. You can trust me to bring back the evidence safe and sound. You have my word. 
Inspector Bringer's car has arrived. The Inspector is already here. We don't have time to hesitate. I need to get going. I'll leave the seminar to you. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sick of fancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Huh? You said it yourself. An officer needs to be sure they're doing the right thing. I became an officer because of Inspector Bringer, but not for praise or his approval. I want to do for others what he did for me back then. I want to be someone who protects people. So you're going to... I'm going with you. That monster in the hollow is anything but ordinary. We have to protect the evidence. And besides, if the inspector really is the same as he was back then, I'm sure he'll support our choice. We can't just sit back and do nothing while the remains are in danger. Just like last time, we should try and help them any way we can. Judging by our predictions, they probably have the evidence by now. Any ideas on how we're gonna get it back? Here's what I'm thinking. To avoid raising suspicion, the suspects probably didn't damage the carrier's electronic systems. If that is indeed the case, we can check its driving record to pinpoint where exactly it stopped within the hollow. They're bound to have left some traces behind. The remains are bulky, so they can't move very quickly. Therefore, we can figure out where they went. Makes sense. Let's find the evidence carrier and see if our suspicions are right. I've picked up the carrier's signal. Let's go. Ju Yuan and Ching Yi are heading out to find the evidence carrier first. Fairy, can you try to find the carrier? Affirmative. Attempting to locate the evidence carrier. We need to help Ji Yuan and Ching Yi reach the evidence carrier quickly. I'm counting on you to plan a route. The evidence carrier signal is coming from over there. Ugh, the mobile device here seems unusable. Let me try adjusting the direction. Ugh, it's too heavy. Wise, something is blocking their way. Master, the firing direction of the ejector nearby can be adjusted. All right, let's help them find a shortcut to save time. These switches can be used repeatedly. Think carefully about the direction. Huh? Did the device just move by itself? Them. Master, 
High ether activity has been detected along the path to the evidence carrier's location. Carrier is nearby. Xing Yi, we should head over there now. Yes, finally! The carrier! Let's check on its condition. It looks fine on the outside. No signs of damage or being tampered with. Let's check inside. <sighs> We're doing this to protect the evidence, but messing with the carrier without permission will definitely require writing up a report. And probably a pay cut, too. Well, let's forget all that for now. Ching Yi, help me unlock it. Huh? The evidence crate is still here. And the seal is untouched. Comparing the seal with the one in the photo, the angle is off by approximately three degrees. And the etheric matter feels totally different from what I sensed at the square. So, they really did get a hold of the evidence. They were gonna trick Hand by not leaving any trace. They went through all this trouble to make it seem like it was still there. That monster must be hiding some serious secrets. Chu Yuan, watch out! Take your breath. We're dealing with a group of desperados. They never planned on leaving us alive. Stay where you are! Justice will be served. Ambush near the carrier. <laughs> what the heck is going? How could they have known we were going after the evidence? Hey, have you got rid of those two officers? <laughs> there they are. They're coming after us. Run. Warning: Multiple hostiles approaching the officers' location at high speed. The officers should change direction immediately to avoid direct confrontation with multiple armed individuals. You hear that? Multiple enemies. They're about to be in trouble. Fairy, is there a way to divert the enemy's attention? Master, I regret to inform you there are no electronic devices or controllable machines in the area. It's too late, Wise. Look at the map. Jiwen and Jingyi are trapped. It's a dead end. Watch out, Jingyi! 
there's an ambush here, too. Get them! Coming through. They're closing in on us. Be careful. Around it. Stay calm. They sure have some firepower. How many members did they deploy to deal with us? Yeah. Perfect teamwork, everyone. to get him off our tail. Let's face him head on. We'll run out of ammo if this continues. This isn't good. Ji Wen and Ching Yi are stuck in the building and surrounded by enemies. Do something, Fairy. We have to get them out. Master, I've detected several unstable spatial fissures near the officer's location. Such spatial rifts are challenging to label in standard carrot data, but if utilized, they could help the target evacuate from their current location. Fairy may be able to locate the spatial rifts, but how do we tell Ji Yuan and Ching Yi where to go? I can safely tap into the officer's intercom within the hollow, second assistant. But if we connect to their intercom, won't we expose ourselves? If it doesn't expose our exact identity, I think it's worth the risk if it saves lives. Question. Is the current objective to assist the two officers in leaving the current area, or rescue the two officers who are trapped? Aren't those the same thing? Negative. Remote communication has an 87.1% chance of successfully guiding the officers out of their current area. But due to the significant disparity in forces and the limitations of long-range communication, I cannot swiftly assess the target's surrounding environment. The risk of failure will rapidly mount. So you're saying, to keep them safe, Wise has to personally guide them as a proxy? Affirmative. However, appearing in front of public security may bring major risks. Ugh, what a pain. If they weren't public security officers, we wouldn't even hesitate. Do you remember what Ching Yi said? Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Zhu Yuan and Ching Yi are good people. Despite the risks, I'll regret it forever if I choose to do nothing. Wise. And on the bright side, if we work together, we might be able to recover the stolen remains. Affirmative. Master's assumption is reasonable. Well then, let's go save them. This isn't good. They've totally surrounded us. Unless we can somehow distract them, we're stuck here. If we can't think of a way out, I'll go distract them so you have a chance to get away. What? What are you talking about? It was me who insisted we investigate inside the Hollow. He wouldn't even be in danger right now if it weren't for me. Besides, I'm not human. I'll be fine even if my body gets destroyed. But you don't have that luxury. Hold up. I'm your captain, right? If someone has to take responsibility for this mess, it should be me. Besides, your physical abilities are much better than mine. If one of us has to make a run for it, you'd have a much better chance at surviving. Now's not the time to argue. Exactly. Now's not the time to argue. Who's there? Wait, it's coming from the intercom. Someone hacked into our encrypted frequency. B but how? Instead of arguing about who should be the bait, how about I offer a solution that works for you both? Who are you? Why should we trust you? 
I can't convince you to trust me. I'm a proxy. Not exactly someone who should normally be talking to you. But, while I may be a proxy, I have a conscience. I can't turn a blind eye while you're in danger. A proxy? All right, so what's the plan? I'll create an opportunity for you. Now, follow my instructions. But what about the enemy? Leave it to me. <laughs> now, go! They're getting away! What now? Straight ahead. Jump into the fissure. The fissure? <laughs> There's another fissure straight ahead. Uh, they're closing in. They'll catch us at this rate. I have a plan. It might be risky, but I'm sure you can do it. Now that you saved us, do you plan on making an appearance? Sure. We can finally talk now. You're a Bing Boo from Bellabog. Wait, no. There's no way an ordinary Bing Boo would be as capable as you, let alone hack into our intercom. So, who are you exactly? Ching Yi, have you heard the rumors about a legendary proxy who doesn't enter the hollows themselves? but manages real-time communication from the outside? Faith in... That's me. I'm Faith in. So you were already watching us when we received the report from Bellabog. Yeah. I was helping Bellabog Industries retrieve something lost. But I ended up running into that monster deep in the hollow. As you've already guessed, I think there's something unusual about that monster, too. There's some kind of conspiracy behind it, and it's connected to what I've been chasing. In other words, you're helping us so Hand gets the evidence and can uncover the truth about the monster. Exactly. And it's still not too late to get the evidence back. According to page 173 of the Public Security Officer's Manual, in urgent situations, officers have the right to recruit assistants without verifying their identities. So you're suggesting... We share a common goal. Let's work together and get that evidence. Deal. Now's not the time for more questions. We accept your assistance, Faithen. But as you've seen, the enemy is well prepared and has the advantage in numbers. Don't worry, leave that to me. Since we lack manpower, we'll use the hollow against them. That's my specialty. We've arrived at the evidence carrier area. Loading environment data. Master, I have found a discarded toolbox up ahead. It could contain relevant clues to the case. Your attention is needed. It's time to put my expertise as a public security officer to good use. Connect the dots in the mind space and solve the case. Use this to access my mind space and share information. The display 
Play device has been used to show the mind space. Collected clues will be stored in the memory zone. Once the adjacent clues are found, the question will become apparent. We don't have enough clues right now. Let's go back and look for more. Master, there are footprints on the floor here that have been deliberately concealed. The clue has been stored in the mind space. Master, I have detected varying degrees of defects and damages to the electronic devices in this area. The clue has been stored in the mind space. small forklift parked on one side of the scene. The vehicle might cont- Decoding in progress. Please wait. Decoding completed. Now playing the previously saved recording. Didn't boss ask you to get something sturdy? You brought a forklift? The wicked boss are on all sides! What's it matter as long as it moves? Who cares if it's a little windy? Whatever. Just get this thing moving already. The evidence carrier will be here soon. Let me check Big Head's caretaker. There's a new question in mind space. collapsed bamboo up ahead. There's a new question in mind space. has arisen from the two collected clues. Master, do you want to solve it?
Indeed. Judging from the marks left behind, the forklift was likely the culprit's means of transportation to the scene. After all the questions are answered. Right. Considering all the clues, this conclusion makes sense. Affirmative. It is highly likely that the culprits left on foot. The key question has emerged. It'd be hard for the culprits to travel that far with the evidence, right? Hmm, the culprit's bangboo is broken, so I bet they can't find the way out. You're right. Not only are the culprits carrying the evidence, but they also don't have a carrot. Hiding nearby while they wait for their accomplices would be the wisest choice. Master, all the clues have been gathered. The case replay is now available. The case replay is a simulation that recreates how the culprits committed the crime based on the existing clues. This allows you to watch how the incident happened in detail. important scenes during the case replay that might help our investigation. Please pay close attention. to each other in front of the door. Return to the real world to investigate now. We figured out the exit used by the culprits. Let's go check it out. Master, I found a hidden exit here. Look, there's a space 
facial fissure over there. But how are we supposed to get through this area? Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Return to reality, I'll guide you in real time. I've highlighted the culprit's route for you. You're a godsend, Barry. Now let's follow that route. There's a group of abandoned buildings ahead. Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Replay is virtual, so you cannot pick anything up. I must say, they're pretty good at hiding. The replay is over. Look, 
they're carrying an etheric matter container. Do you think this is really the stolen evidence? Yeah, no doubt about it. Even with it sealed, its aura gives me the creeps. Yes! Fantastic! We finally got the evidence back! The assailants that blocked our path earlier likely haven't figured out we've outmaneuvered them and retaken the evidence. At this point, all we need to do is get out of the hollow and we're safe. There's an exit nearby. I'll take you there. The exit is just up ahead. If you two aren't in a hurry to arrest me today, I suppose we'll go our separate ways here. Don't worry, I don't want to burn any bridges. It's bad karma. Besides, I've always thought indiscriminately arresting proxies isn't very fair. Circumstances aren't always the same for everyone. Uh, Chingyi, we're officers. Should you really be saying that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for your help, Faithen. I should thank you, too, for uncovering the threat to the evidence vehicle and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Goodbye, officers. Hopefully our next meeting won't be quite so tense. Now that Faithen's gone, let's hurry up and get this evidence out of here. All right, let's go. Hmm, wait a minute. Faithen thanked us for uncovering the threat and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Doesn't that sound suspicious to you? Suspicious? Huh, right. Logically speaking, while monitoring the evidence carrier, Faithen would have realized the evidence had been switched and upon seeing us, assumed we were there to investigate. But it sounded like Faithen knew what happened outside the hollow too. How unexpected. It seems Faithen attended the seminar today. You are? Are you free today? Want to come with me to the public security precinct at Lumina Square? I feel a bit uneasy every time I hear public security these days. Actually, I heard Yuan and Xingyi will be heading back to their own branch today. It's probably best not to run into them again inside the hollows. But outside the hollows, it might be quite a while before we see them again. You're right. We should at least get their contact information. I was thinking, how about we give them a gift, too? Like a collector's edition of that popular PubSec movie, Mission Unthinkable. Good idea. That's the one where the main character goes against his superior and chooses to protect the citizens, right? They're gonna be leaving soon. Let's get going. We've got everything packed. Let's get it in the car. Phew, 
We made it just in time. Hey there, managers. What brings you here? We heard you're heading back to your own branch, so we wanted to say goodbye. We haven't known each other for long, but we've had quite a memorable time together, right? But, Zhu Yuan, weren't you supposed to be interviewed on stage for the seminar? Why did that officer with glasses go up instead? Belle was really looking forward to asking you questions, but you weren't there. I'm sorry, but we got assigned to a tricky case that day. I can't disclose the details, but it went well. Largely due to the clues you provided about the 6th Street EMP case. Oh, really? That's awesome. It's not often you get to meet new people, so we brought you something to remember us by. A movie about a public security officer. We appreciate it, but it's against regulations for officers to accept gifts from citizens. However, could I buy the video as a customer of Random Play? Of course. We'd be delighted to have you as a customer. They're getting ready to leave, so how about we check out the neighborhood and finally grab that meal we've been meaning to have? Oh, I never expected our time at the Lumina Branch to be so eventful. Things turned out okay. The seminar settled, case cracked, evidence secure. It's just a shame. The reports we have to write are gonna be lame. Uh, hmm? Is that supposed to be a poem? <laughs> Excuse me, someone's calling me. Hey, you've got time to chat during the day? Well, this is a rarity. Hello. I'm looking over our graduation album. You're flipping through our graduation album? Now? This isn't another one of your weird exercises, is it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember all of the names of our old classmates by looking at these photos. By the way, do you still remember the graduation message you wrote for me? May you become the pursuant of true justice, the sharp blade of the law slicing through the wickedness of the night sky. Oh, all right, yet there's no need to shout. Someone might hear you. My apologies. It's just, this message really means a lot to me. How does the true justice mentioned in your message differ from regular justice? Is it comparable to the difference between an actual melon and a melon-flavored lollipop? Mm. Many people say they taste pretty much the same. But even though the melons I buy are hardly ever sweet, I still prefer the taste of real melons. Just like your pursuit of true justice. A real melon will always be a real melon. That can never be imitated. Are those words of encouragement? Well... <laughs> Thanks. Wait, how does a member of hand like you know that I've been reprimanded by the precinct? Because the case of the unidentified monster discovered by Balabog Industries has been transferred to Section 6. My intelligence officer pointed out that we might need you to come in and provide some more detailed intel. So, that thing's in your custody? Are you telling me there's something wrong with the evidence? That's the reason why I'm calling you. We found pieces of what resembles a mask within the monster's remains, and we managed to extract human DNA from it. Does this mean you figured out the origin of the monster? Unfortunately, no. Apart from determining the deceased as a male from the DNA, we compared it with DNA records of missing persons and criminals throughout the city, but found no matches. He may have been someone from outside the city with no known identity. But what do you think? Since Maroon risked going into the hollow to get it, there must be some secret on the deceased's body. I wouldn't think he's a nobody. I agree. But as of now, we're still missing the key to this puzzle. Thanks for the intel, Miyabi. Let's catch up in a few days. Mm-hmm. See you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Judging from the conversation, I'm guessing there's some progress with the evidence over at hand? Seems so. They've made an important discovery. But that's only created more questions. Jump in, Chingyi. Let's talk more on the way. All right, let's go. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Perlman. <sighs> Attorneys, always running so slowly. 
You're the ones who suggested we meet. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Huh? Wait, it's... it's you! Uh, Sarah! You've got some nerve to show your face after the trouble you caused! <laughs> Come now, Mr. Perlman. It was your idea to deal with the residents in the Blast Zone. Not to mention the fact that your technical advisor and personal secretary, Sarah, never existed in the first place. Well then, there's no need to grit your teeth. I'm actually here to discuss business with you. Please confess to all your crimes in court, and we'll make sure you get the best treatment in prison. Huh. You and that bastard behind you are the ones who convinced me to carry out the blast in the first place. And now you want me to take all the blame. <laughs> That's quite the scheme. I hear recently, Bella Park Industries stumbled upon a monster in that plaza inside the hollow, and the evidence collected from the creature's remains was almost stolen. Honestly, I've been wondering. The plaza isn't along the subway route, yet your plan included research of it and explosives for it. Your real goal is to retrieve the evidence, isn't it? I wonder what would happen if I brought this up in court. I'm sure the judge wouldn't entertain such baseless fantasies, Mr. Perlman. Baseless fantasies, you say? Huh. Let's get real, then. What if I told you I have proof of your involvement in the Vision case, along with that of the person behind you? Definitive proof. Hey, you heard what Perlman just said, right? I can't stand clingy men, but I must say that's quite the ace up his sleeve. Sounds like you're enjoying this situation. <laughs> How could that be? I'm genuinely concerned about our partnership. So what's your plan now? Will you agree to his terms? <laughs> 